My name is Megan Donahue. I'm a professor of physics and astronomy at Michigan State University in East Lansing, Michigan. Go green. And this is Inside a Scientist's Suitcase. So what I tell my students, you know, really early on um, is that black holes don't suck. And because gravity doesn't suck. The Earth orbits the sun and the sun isn't sucking the Earth in. And if the, Earth, the sun were replaced with a black hole of the same mass as the sun, our Earth would continue to circle it forever. Uh, so black holes aren't particularly special in, in terms of you know, how they influence others' things by their gravity, um, but they are pretty spectacular objects because they're so tiny and so dense for their, for their mass. So if you took the mass of the sun and made it into a black hole, it'd only be about two miles away. Uh, our own galaxy has about 100 billion stars in it, and our star orbits the center of this galaxy, and then, you might not know, but in the center of our own galaxy, there is this massive black hole, about four million times the mass of our own sun. And so it turns out there are other galaxies with similar amounts of stars, and they also have their, you know, sort of like a pet black hole in the center of every galaxy. And, and it used to be thought that maybe these things were, they're fairly tiny, even though they sound pretty big, they're fairly tiny and they're right down in the center, um, but they turn out to be pretty important for the story of how galaxies get their stars, get their gas, make their stars uh, in, in sort of a surprising way. They, they turn to be, out to be amazingly influential. The first thing I always make sure I have is a charged iPhone. <laughs> and I used not to have to have this, right? All right. So the first thing might surprise you, and th it's this. These. These are, these, these are my sanity. The other thing I never travel without, and I never even live without, I don't go very far from this. This is my, this is my Mac. I've been a Mac user since 1994. Um, I almost left the company in 1999, but then they, then they came out with an operating system um, that was based on Unix, and all of a sudden everything came together. I could put everything on here. So I, I, I'm still a Mac lover. I, you know, I'll, I, even, I even buy these myself. I don't, I don't let my grant buy these. I, because I put too much on them. I put, it's my life, right? It's, it's, my, it's my music, it's, it's my photos, it's my um, uh, teaching materials, my, uh, my grading system, uh, in addition to all my NASA data, my papers, I mean, <laughs> so yeah, it has everything so I don't make grants pay for it. <laughs> One of the, the purest, movies I have seen, would, I, I, would, I would put out Alien as one of the scariest space movies I have ever seen. Um, and I've watched it actually at an observatory during a, um, a dark night when there were, were clouds and it was kind of raining. It was on Kitt Peak. Um, I'm watching this movie just kind of in, in the common area. There's not many people around. And as the movie ends, you know, it's still overcast. I go back to the telescope. And as I'm walking up the metal stairs and there's water sort of dripping and 